Hello and welcome to my channel. I have here a Star Wars kit which was released in 2010. It's quite an old model. And it's the Sith Infiltrator which is Darth Maul's spaceship. This is a Rebel kit and this is from their Easy Kit pocket line. And it basically means you don't need any glue or paint. So let's check out the contents. Everything comes in one pre-sealed bag. So get that cut open and have a look at the sprues. And they look to be pre-painted, which makes my life much easier. And there's also a set of instructions in the box. We'll check that out now. It's all crammed onto a small double-sided piece of paper. And there's only eight steps to follow in total. Next, I've laid out all five of the sprues so we can take a good look at them. And now we can start cutting them out and assembling them. The first three steps are kind of irrelevant as they will end up on the inside of the model and you'll never see them again. I've just cut out the cockpit and I've got some things to insert in there which are the pilot chair, Darth Maul sat in it and a control piece and this is the only part of the model where I thought I needed some glue as I don't want them coming loose and rattling about on the inside. The final piece is pushed in just behind the pilot chair and that's the cockpit completed. For step two, I cut out the bottom half of the ship, as well as the see-through plastic dome which sits on top of it. And now these three parts can be stacked on top of each other. These are all held together by friction alone. Although I do think it's pointless having the dome made out of clear plastic, because with the printing on top of it, you can't see through it. For the last part of this step, we've got two side pieces to slot in. These are very loose fitting. It's not until the top goes on that they'll be secure. And then for stages 3 and 4, we'll have some side detail to the wings. These require quite a bit of force to get them to fit. You just have to make doubly sure that both left pieces go together, as well as both right pieces, and don't mix and match them. Then they'll slot into the sides of the top section. It's a good job these parts are already pre-printed, but I'd hate to have to paint them at this scale. Anyway, both the top and bottom half now go together, and that should hold everything else into place. For step 6, we need to turn this upside down. After I have a few additional details to add, starting off with this rear landing gear. And there's also a front pair of landing gear to slot into place. They both have a big and a small peg, so you know which way around they're going. And then for the last part of this stage, are the two open hatches where the landing gears go. Unfortunately, there isn't a closed option, so the landing gears always have to be down. For step number 7, we have the little black stand to build up, and this consists of only three parts. Then it can be inserted under the ship, so it keeps it loose and that it's flying. Even though this kit is not supposed to require painting, a little bit of paint does help. Because when you remove these parts from the sprue, you always get a little bit of damage, and it's nice to be able to touch it up. And you also get another very tiny version of Darth Maul in this kit. He's so small that he cannot stand up on his own. So I'm not entirely sure what you're supposed to do with him. Anyway, the ship's looking pretty good at this scale. And I can always weather it should I choose to do so. And add some additional details. But for this one, I'm just going to leave it as is. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if I can do it, so can you.